Your performance is disappointing. Misery is declining in Cedar Valley. While joy is on the rise. There's nothing I can do. They, they opened a dog rescue. You can't expect me to compete with puppies. That is precisely what the chairman expects. Just one last ghost to review. Not him. Uh, must uh, we? The Ghost Council summons... Strat. What? Hey! The Ghost Council, you guys are looking good! Especially you, Mr. Tower of Dower here, Mr. Chairman, I mean, I mean. <laughs> Scratch, you are rude. Rude and disgusting. But we can't argue with your numbers. Your town of Brighton is truly a miserable place. We shall mark your performance as adequate. Now our work is done. Yes, we are off to the Hottie Haunts Club. Oh! I've never been. I hear it's nice. Is there a dress code? Should I put on pants? Also, should I put on legs? Oh, you are not invited, Scratch. But you are dismissed. Jerks. Who needs them? Didn't want to go to their stupid club anyway. I like being alone. I like being by myself. I don't need anybody else. Ah, Brighton! You know what I see here? Limitless potential. Know what I see? Clean slate. And let's keep it that way, Daryl. No more disasters, flammable or otherwise. I make no promises. Hey, Mom. We're almost there. I know. I've been tracking you. Tell Peter to step on it. Hi, Hi Gremlin. Gremlin! Ah, here we are, McGee's. Well, it's not the worst house we ever lived in. Oh, hold on. That's not our house. <laughs> This is our house. Oh. Oh. Turn me around so I can see. Ooh, turn me back. Granted, it is a bit of a fixer-upper. Dad, I'm not gonna lie to you. I love it! <laughs> yes, all right. A family moving into my house? Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta start. Oh, wow, my new bedroom is kind of a dump. It needs the Molly McGee touch. Mm. Hey, hey, those cobwebs are vintage. <gasps> a ghost? Okay, Molly, okay, focus up. You've never met a ghost before. Make a good impression. Ghost tag! <laughs> okay, sorry about that, here we go. <laughs> hey, does this go here? How about a... Uh, I guess I, uh, I can be a little too friendly sometimes. Yo, well, I'm not! Be gone, uh, human! Uh, uh, whoa! Huh? Did you just make me fly? This attic has everything and it comes with a bonus you! I'm never, ever, 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 ever leaving! Fine. You won't leave. <clears throat> Am I taking a step back, please? No, that's too far. I did a little... No, come back. There, stop! Okay. I curse you, Molly McGee! Wherever you go, whatever you do, for the rest of your days, I'll be there, haunting you, tormenting you, turning you into an unending nightmare! <gasps> Fantastic performance. Huh? Where did those bugs even come from? What? So now that we're best friends... Best friends? Yeah, you're going everywhere I go and doing everything I do, right? I guess. Best friends confirmed! We're gonna make music videos together, become internet famous, and then we're gonna tell ghost stories all night, and you're gonna be so what? good at it, and I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm so scared! We're gonna volunteer to wash old people. Why would we do that? You know! That's great stuff! Now, what are your thoughts on posters? Kittens? Or puppies? Mm, maybe the puppies. I, I didn't curse Molly McGee. But there are strong She ideas. cursed me! Together forever! 
My best friend and me. <laughs> We're sticking together for the rest of eternity. <laughs> Hold that pose. Selfie! Ah, oh, look at your little face. All right, let's do this! We'll be joined at the hip forever and ever like an insane surgeon sewed us together. Cause we've got a bond so deep, it touches my soul. And you're never alone, cause we're never apart Like a parasitic worm, I live in your heart It's you and I, best friends for life With no chance of parole Together forever, sticking to you And ever and ever, we want to do BFF, but how? It's gotta be My best friend and me, permanently And perfect! What if I ask nicely? Could you leave, please? Ooh, sorry. Nope on that. See, Dad said he planner job pulled us McGee's from Ada, Oklahoma, to Zuni, New Mexico, and everywhere in between. I've, um, I've left behind a lot of friends. But Brighton's gonna be different. We McGee's are making our forever home. Right here. And I've already got a forever friend! Oh, please, I am not a part of your problems! <gasps> oh, no, come on! You did the too friendly thing again! Come back, Scratch! <laughs> uh, what's this? I got... Oh, no. This curse just got worse. No way. You come to me whenever I say your name? On demand, bestie? <gasps> It's the future of friendship. Oh, no, 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 I gotta fix this! Scratch? Where'd you go? Sorry, Chief. Can't let you in. I just gotta talk. Oh, those, them, them. I don't, can grab them. Can you turn around and look who I'm pointing at, please? Don't you ghost me! What are you doing here, Scratch? Huh, okay, I got an urgent question. Is there any way for a ghost who has accidentally cursed himself to uncurse himself? I'm asking for a friend, of course. Ridiculous. You have no friends. Ha ha ha, okay, but would it kill you again to give me a straight answer, please? Wherever you go, whatever you do, I'll be there. This friend of yours must be quite the dunderhead, Scratch. It's more of a curse on the ghost than the human. Well, there is one way out. If you won't leave, your friend must scare the humans so badly, they leave the house forever. And then the curse is broken. Okay, but this is the thing. This girl, she doesn't scare. Girl? <laughs> As in a child? Surely she doesn't make all the decisions for her family. So I can't scare Molly, but scaring her family, I can do that no problem. I mean, my friend can do that no problem. You want to put the cereal in this cabinet? That's sheer madness. It completes the bowl utensil cereal triangle. Cereal has to go in here. No, cereal has to go in here. <laughs> Leave the boxes! Leave the cereal! Leave everything! Leave yourself! Leave yourself! Leave everything else! Whoa, 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 guys! It's okay! I see you've met my new best friend, Scratch. It has a name! Out of the way, Molly! We're leaving this house and we are never coming back! We got the cereal, right? No, 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 no! No, Dad, you can't leave our forever home just because it comes with a ghost. Besides, Scratch doesn't mean to be scary. He's just, are you, are you, are you hangry? I am not hangry. Do you want a snack? I mean, I'd have a bite of something, but it doesn't mean I'm hangry. Granola bar? Not if it's carob. Daryl, you're gonna love Scratch. Ugh, he's so gross. Get me more! Hey! And Dad, you always tell us we shouldn't be afraid of people who are different. Shouldn't that apply to a ghost? You're right, Molly. And I think the preferred term is post-living person. Hmm? Welcome to our home. I mean, your home, which is technically our home. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little flustered. Sorry. This is all very new to me. And Mom, you're really gonna Way love. ahead of you, Mall. Nobody disclosed a ghost. I'm calling our realtor and getting some money back on this dump. What? It's wrong with you people! Ah! I 
I think he really likes you guys. The new house is amazing, Grandma Nin. It came with a ghost! But don't be scared. I mean, we're already best friends, so... We are not friends, Grandma Nin! I'm not scared, Molly. In Thailand, many houses have ghosts. Have I ever told you about San Papun? Uh, no. What's that? A little house within your home to honor your ghost. Tell me more about this, please. You mean something like this? What do you think, Scratch? Got a nice open floor plan, a few cobwebs here and there. Uh, yeah, this might work. So, would it be okay if we stuck around a little while? Yeah, sure. On a trial basis. Don't forget to leave an offering of food and drink to keep your ghost happy. I'm quite partial to tacos and strawberry soda. You got it, Scratch. Two tacos coming up. What you want in those bad boys? Surprise me. Woohoo! Chocolate it is. The Ghost and Molly McGee. Just a puffy little bunch of bubbles. Hey, Scratch! Ah! Ah! Molly, turn around, please. Oh, what's the big deal? You don't even wear clothes. Yes, but I happen to be emotionally naked right now. <clears throat> what's so urgent that you ripped me away from my me time? I'm afraid, Scratch. Now we're getting somewhere. Be specific, please. I know you've said that you're really popular in the ghost world. Yes! Yes, I am! This club is only for popular ghosts, not the worst of the worst. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very popular. Like, number one on the list, if there was a list, but of course there's not, because who wants to hurt anybody else's feelings? I knew it. So you probably can't relate, but today is the first day of school, and our family's moved a lot. You know, like... A lot, a lot. So trust me when I tell you the first day of school in a new town is super important and the stakes have never been higher. Do you realize that even one eensy weensy embarrassing mistake could turn me into a social outcast forever? You'd be ruined. Exactly. You'd have to leave Brighton. Probably in the dead of night. The curse would be broken and I'd be back in this house by myself. You know, actually now that I'm talking to you about it, I hear how ridiculous all my fears sound. Uh, I don't think that's ridiculous at all. I think it's, it's gonna be fine. No, it's going to be a disaster. And I love making people happy, so I'm bound to make tons of friends. Not on my watch! This will be the worst first day in the history of first days! I promise, McGee, you won't make even one friend! Ah, nice try, Scratchy. I already re-energized my positivity. Thanks for being a sounding board. Bye! She bothers me. Wow, both our kids in middle school. They just, they're growing up so fast. Next it's gonna be college, then a career, then grandkids. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a grandpa. You do it. Okay, big smiles. Who's ready for a fantastic school year with minimal trips to the principal's office? Me! All right, you two, have fun. You know I will. I guarantee you will. <laughs> <clears throat> As I'm sure many of you have noticed, we have a new student joining us. Welcome, Molly McGee. Would you like to tell us a little about yourself? I sure would. If you know only one thing about me, it's that I... I, uh, like to dance? Baraba! Yeah. <laughs> Andrea Davenport, social influencer, future disruptor, Brighton Middle School's official goodwill ambassador. Yeah. It's a lot of things in one, I know. I'd be honored if you join me on stage this afternoon at the new school year assembly. Wow, thanks. That would be incredible, Andrea. <gasps> <gasps> well, what's this? <laughs> it's actually Andrea. 
Isn't that what I said? No, you said Andrea. Oh, I I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Oh, honey, it's fine. It's your first day. Forgive and forget. Wow, thank you, Andrea. That's really nice of you. Oh, crud, I is it Andrea? Or, wait, what was it again? Is it, which vowel? Is it E? A, A, E, I, O, 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 Andrea? Or is there an umlaut? Is it like an Andrea? Or did, <laughs> maybe you was... should take a seat before you make this even worse. Ooh. Once is an innocent mistake, but twice? She's a monster. Psst. Hey, in the first grade, there was a girl named Libby. She was bright-eyed and full of promise, until one day she called Andrea, Andrea. And from that moment on, she was an outcast, forever shunned from respectable society. What happened to her? Oh, she's me. I'm Libby. And don't get too close. I think I've almost got her worn down. Looking good, Andrea. Well, I think we can safely call this day ruined. You wanna go home? I help you start packing your stuff. Oh, come on, Scratch. It's not that big of a deal. I have the whole day. I'm bound to make at least one friend. You can't judge a book by the cover. Some books start out slow. And the first time you try kombucha, <clears throat> you might think it's gross. Well, I'm just like that. Kombucha. Keep on sipping and you'll see that I'm great. She's really big. So won't you take a second chance on me? Take a second chance on me. I'm begging please. Take a second chance on me. Just like a stanky hunk of cheese on the final party charcuterie. Won't you take a second chance on me? Soda. <laughs> Come on, get it together, McGee. <laughs> you got this. Gotta hand it to you, Ball. You ruined this day way better than anything I could have done. I mean, that was some primo stuff. No, no, no. I, I can still turn it around. Nah, this day, like you, is over. So let's go home, pack up your things. I'll call a moving van. You can get out of here. There's still the assembly. And what do you think's gonna happen there? Some kind of miracle where suddenly everybody likes you? It's done, Ma. You have no future in this school or in this town. You're right. Today has been a disaster. Things can't get any worse. Yeah. Therefore, they can only get better. What? I was wrong. No, you weren't. It's not all about the first day. It's totally about the it's first about day. It's about every day. No, it's not. So I'll just keep being who I am, and eventually, one fine day, someone will be my friend. You got inspirational. In a bathroom. Oh, yeah. It's my superpower. I can do it anywhere. I did it at a funeral once. You are the most frustrating... <laughs> Whoops. Reflex. Oh, no, 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 no. Wake up, Andrea! Andrea! Ah, oh, whatever! Help me get her in that cart! Ah! Disposing of the body! Right way! What? No! I I've got to get her to the nurse's office! That lady has nothing but band-aids. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have no idea where the nurse's office is. Oh, Ah, what an elegant bouquet of emotional and physical floundering. Ah, youth. <laughs> no, I, I, I can fix this. I just have to get Andrea's... Andrea. Not now. I have to get her to the nurse's office before anyone notices. Great idea. And I'm going to raise this curtain for no particular reason. <gasps> it's Molly McGee. What's she doing with Andrea? It's, uh, not what it looks like. Bye-bye, <laughs> Molly McGee. Seriously, who does she think she is? She's the worst of the worst. The worst of the worst. Oh, no. No, come on. It's just feeling I've won. You won. It's over. Molly McGee is as good as packed and yet. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to do this. Please, when you hear the story of what really happened, you're going to think I'm crazy. I'm going to need a plan B. Give me that applause already. What I gotta do? Yay! Scratch.
scratch? Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Where to start? First, I'm over the whole Andrea Andrea thing. I mean, believe me when I say life is too short. You can call me Andrea, Andrea, Audrea, Audrea, whatever. I say go nuts with it. Let's get creative. Now, I'd like to bring it down a little bit, get a little serious. Because there's a girl out there having a really rough day. And I think in some small way... That's my fault. She doesn't deserve to be treated like the worst of the worst. No one does. So please, on my behalf, give a big, bright middle school cheer for... Libby! She's okay now! I decree it! Yes! Also, Molly McGee isn't so bad either. Cut her some slack, you animals. We love you, Andrea! 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 What happened here? Andrea! See you tomorrow, Molly. Have a great night. Bye! So, you were wrong. I ended the day with a lot of friends. Ugh, like that's a good thing? But you were also right because this day would have been a huge disaster if it weren't for my very bestest best friend ever. Eh? Oh, me? Oh, no, 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 I am not your friend. Then why'd you save my first day? Uh, because otherwise you would be headed to jail and you drag me along uh -huh. and, I, you know, I, I can't get in that kind of shape. You can't deny it, Scratch. We're friends, my dude. More than that, we're best friends. Besties! No, I, I don't have besties. Uh, we're besties. No, no. We're such besties. No, no, la, I la, was la, saving la. myself <laughs> for me. You love me. I we're was best a friends forever. I can't stand... The Ghost and Molly McGee.